I'm Sophia Brown and I'm Ruth Pitter. It's, things are changing really fast. We can see that the climate crisis is impacting on our lives a lot more. Um, we obviously have a legacy that we need to leave to younger generations and if we don't do something about it now then um, it, it's, it, there won't be a legacy to leave, there won't be a planet to leave. So it's really important that we do something urgently and, and, it, and we, we, we all want to ensure that we have um, lives uh, uh, equitable for everyone and so we all have a part to play in that. Oh, the project is called Bristol Stepping Sisters and basically it's to encourage more women uh, to come out and enjoy the countryside or coastal areas, um, have the experience, it's for their health and well-being, you know, we need to look after where we live and um, I would say for health reasons as well. These sorts of um, benefits have a major impact on women's mental health, especially for women of colour who um, the, the challenges and the trauma that we, we enjoy in our lives on a regular basis. We have been ju felt judged from others, so there's no judgment among ourselves, but we have felt judged by others and there have, we have had comments made to us as women of colour about being in spaces in a group, which could be quite disconcerned, disconcerting for women, especially if you were a smaller group on your own. Um, and so we have experienced racism, um, but that isn't going to stop us. It, it makes us more determined to be in those spaces because we have a right to be there as women of colour. We have a right to be in, 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 in all environments and especially because we don't get out enough into the wider sort of natural rural environments. We need to ensure that we're doing as much as we can to, to get women out to those environments. About being excluded and not being recognised as well, and um, that would help a lot if we could. You know, even then, we will get people said, "Yeah, we do. We do include women of colour or black and of colour." But as from my point of view, I don't see it much, or I don't feel it much that we are. You know, it's just something that's just said. Yeah, I just don't think we are still excluded from a, a, a lot of things. You know. They, they need to invest in projects that support women of colour, that support women. Um, they, need to, they need to be talking to us. They need to be hearing our voices. They need to understand our lived experience. And I don't get the impression that they do understand it from the decisions they're making. And they need to gain our trust. And in order to do that, they need to be talking to us. We need to really believe that our lived experience is understood by them and that they are committed to ensuring that we are involved in the conversation and that um, fundamental change is going to take place with our involvement. So it seems really overwhelming when we think about the climate crisis and how much uh, of an impact it's, it's having on our lives. And so the host for the future for me is that we all see that we have a part to play. We start on the small things and gradually they become bigger.